least Americans do, but Americans move on fast to other things. <laughs> now push it towards him. Push it. There you go. If the stories are becoming more complicated, the style doesn't. That's the difference. If he's searching for more in a story, I mean, he still has the ability to hold back, not be intrusive to the image. You know, other directors are intrusive to the image, and it's wonderful. This guy just doesn't want to do that. The style's in the same way. Ultimately, that leads to uh, the film that he made uh, last year, which is J. Edgar. Blow it down. Well, on J. Edgar, what I did is I had already had a relationship with him because I'd produced The Changeling. And I felt that we had a bond and that he trusted me, a, you know, just man to man. I felt Clint might be interested because it was an era that he knows. It's about power dynamics. It's about a complicated man. Mr. Chairman, I urge passage of the Lindbergh Law, making kidnapping a federal offense to immediately deliver all fingerprints in this country to my office so that we may create a central file to help arm our agents so that they have a fighting chance against the submachine guns of some of the most dangerous characters in the history of American criminality. It's also sort of an American tragedy as well because J. Edgar created, formed the FBI, and he died a very lonely death. You know, for me, it's, uh, it's like uh, a Pablo Casals playing cello in a room by himself towards the end of his life. That's how it sort of enveloped me. It went into his very uh, uh, essence, his being, in a way. And it was very uh, subversive because of that, because it sucked you in. And before you realize, you didn't want to leave the room, but you don't like the guy. But you're not leaving. I've been with the Department of the Bureau for seven years, Edgar. Almost as long as you. No. You were with the old Bureau seven years, and that Bureau is now gone, sir. And so are you. Um, I was a little surprised that more people didn't see it. <laughs> so many pictures that people haven't gotten, and ten years later they get them. Biographical films, we've seen a lot of them over the years. And some of them work and some don't. There's no doubt. I think this one has a depth to it and a power and a staying power that uh, once people calm down a little bit and try to see what the hell it was, they'll, they'll come around to it. A lot of times you find material that's interesting and the public doesn't find it interesting at all. But that's uh, horse racing. You're still doing it from what interests you. And uh, if, if you're out of sync with the public, that just, that happens, that happens to everybody at some point. But uh, you just, you know, the old song, you know, pick yourself up and right, go back in the race. 